Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect. Now let's play with Neo Rambler. It's been a while, but in between videos I have been going around most of the galaxy map that we can go through for now, or at least the uh, sort of local area of the galaxy we can go to for now. Not a lot of it, but just the local area where we need to be to do the next story-based mission. And basically I've just gone around and visited all the planets, and a lot of them you can't land on or anything. Uh, you can just scan it and you get like resources from it um, and then when you leave the galaxy map you get like experience and a few credits for your uh, for your actions but um, yeah just done a bit of that nothing else really uh, but I believe I found the planet where we need to find our final buddy to come join us on our trip to whatever it was we were doing before because I actually can't remember it's been such a long time between videos I actually forgotten <laughs> the story oh yeah to go after um, the, the the rogue uh, the rogue dude, the rogue alien dude. They forget the names of their race. Sauron, I think his name was. No, that's that's Lord of the Rings. Oh fuck it, we'll find out in a minute. But anyway, we need to find somebody to join our team, and it's an Alzari, so female blue alien lady. So we need to go and find her, and I think she's here. So we're gonna go and land on said planet, whatever it was, and pick our squad. Um, I think we'll pick Hayden for now because we haven't really used him much. Um, and we'll pick Garrus. Yeah, that'll do. I like these two. Bah, I like Garrus anyway. Gaiden's alright, he just doesn't have much of a personality in my opinion. But then again, these characters are designed to appeal to all kinds of personalities. One of those sort of all-inclusive games whereby, you know, there will be somebody that you can relate to. Uh, uh, at most parts. some strange readings? Really strange, like off the damn charts. Yeah, I it know. Like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Well, that's groovy. We'll go and check that out in a minute. I mean, if we have a quick look around our surroundings now, there's all these weird sort of bolts like things. I wonder if uh, the Fallout universe actually extends beyond the galaxy. Who knows? Or beyond our uh, area of the galaxy, anyway. So, yeah, anyway, let's roll on then, shall we? Literally, with our vehicle of six wheels. Doobity doo. Doobity doo. Again, I forget how lovely these environments are. I mean, I know they're very basic, but at the time they were really... I, I liked them, they were very immersive. And I like the, the film grain effect you can have on the game. You can turn it off, of course, but I, I like the film grain. And nobody's really bothered to complain because nobody's really watching. So, sod it, I'll keep it on until other people say otherwise. It may be messing up the uh, frame rate a little bit, but eh, whatever. Atmosphere, you know, immersiveness, filmingness, all that MacGuffin. It's all good. So, I think... I uh, don't know which way to go. I think we're going to follow these pipes on the right. Let's have a quick gander on the left over here. Oh no, there's just lava. Oh no, better not, better not go that way. We don't want to die just yet. Let's follow the pipes then and uh, find the... Th oh no, it's a dead end. Eww, that's not good. Alright. That didn't work then. Perhaps, uh, perhaps this way? I always get a bit lost and confused at this point. I remember when I first played this, it took me a while to figure out what was going on. This is an underground thing, so maybe we have to go back to... We really do have to go back to those vault doors. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I don't know. I know we can't go on the lava. It definitely damages our vehicle. Yeah, no, 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 that can't be right. Surely we've got to follow the pipes. I'm pretty sure we do. I don't know, it's been a long time. Many, many years. Ten years, I think, since the last played this game. Well, no, not ten years. Probably about... Probably about nine, I think. Eight or nine years. So coming, up, coming on to the Big Ten, anyway. I'm sure... I'm sure we don't know. Let's see what the map says. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fudge are we going wrong for, then? Oh, I see. There's a ramp on the left I completely missed. Okay. It, it was the depth perception thing. This is where we need to go. I didn't see this. It just looked like flat cliff face to me. Well, I'm an idiot. Good job we have map. So now we can go this way. This way. Yeah, I think I did the same thing when I first did this years ago. I was like, I'm stuck on this corner. Where do I go? Oh, there's a ramp on the left. Oh. <laughs> I probably checked the map as well the same way as I just did then to realise. Oh, yeah, it curves around this way. It's a linear corridor-esque type area, just with the illusion of more to it than that. Oh. I hope that's our ship and not somebody else's, because if it isn't, we're going to be in trouble, yo. Oh shit! There are dudes! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh, okay, that's bad. That's bad. That's very bad. Okay. We must make sure 
We don't overheat our guns and avoid projectiles like the plague. Ow. Not really avoiding them very well. Come on. Got him. Okay, one down. They've got quite a lot of armour in this game, the, the Geth. But we have a cannon which I forgot to use. So, boom, that made that nice and easy. Just dodged it with non matrix like dodging skins. Right. So that must have been it. I assume that was a Geth ship then. That would be my uh that would be my logic. Actually, what is round here? Or is this a dead end or is this the way we're supposed to go? I'm not sure. Let's have a look, see. This might actually be the way to go. Oh, well it looks like it, because there's lots of reds. Let's let's just check the map again. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is the way to go. Okie dokes! Fortunately, we have to fight more things, but that's okay. Just take it slow and steady. Um, it, oh, oh, that, those are big cannon things. Okay, they got rockets. They got rockets. Ow, they've shot my tyre. It's very mean of you to shoot my tyre. Oh. Well, what am I supposed to do? Do I drive past it then? Surely I've got to get into there. Aha! There we go. Can blow these up. I thought we probably couldn't blow these things up. Just got to take them out one at a time. That's it. That's two down. I'm sure there's another one. It does look like there is. Oh! There's one there. At the very least. Heavy turret. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Like I said, I'm trying to remember the controls again. The controls are a little bit dodgy on this game, but... Then again, you do get used to them. And it can work quite well. It's just me being stupid. Anybody else here? Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, right, does it look like there's anything else to it. We're supposed to blow that up, or...? No? There's lots of geth people inside there. Or enemies, at the very least. All I'm doing is flipping my bloody vehicle back and forth. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't look like there's a doorway or anything here. I'm assuming this is like the only way to get in is that bit there. It's just a question of how. Don't know. I've got stuck! No! I have got the jumpy thing. I do remember that. Jump booster! Woo! Damn it! I can't do tricks with it. Not very good at doing tricks. But never mind. Anyway, come on. Roll, roll, roll. Right, okay. That... Uh, I need to check the map again. Um, I think where we need to go is over here. Um, zoom out. How do I zoom out? Okay, I can zoom out. Our destination may be there? I don't know. I'm a tad confused. I think my radar might be broken. Hmm. Right, well, we'll... we'll, we'll ah! Right, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that for now then. I'll assume maybe that's for later then or something. I don't know. Let's go and explore some more things. Oh, stupid! <laughs> Controls and map being friend friendly! Stupid! Alright, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll spare the agony of me just messing around and being stupid. I'm gonna go look for where we need to go. Fuck! God. Stop and rest, Neo. Stop and rest. Right, I'll, I'll just have a look around and see where else we need to go. Because maybe that the radar system might not be working very well. I don't know. But um, uh, I'll, I'll see if we can find the next area we need to go to. And then I shall cut to it there. So, back in a sec, hopefully, with the right area to be in. Well, I was being dope. It's right next to the area we were at. I completely missed Scott. It's very hard to actually work out where to go. But then again, I'm very stupid. So, we'll put it down to that. Hello. We need you to don't do what you're going to do. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving onwards then. At least we found the a back door approach to this, which wasn't actually um, very well, um, very well uh, protected. Really, if you think about it, there was that the the, the the main sort of access way was blocked by whatever it was, and then um, and then uh, yeah, then the rest of it wasn't. So there's a back door basically. It was a bit stupid, but whatever's. Right, it's nicely annihilating these. You still get stuck on these rocks. I always forget how difficult it was to control this thing. 
I think they took this uh, mechanic out of the game uh, by um, uh, in the second game, so you didn't really have all this moon buggy stuff anymore. And I, could, I at the time I was a bit upset, but I really because I like the fact that there is still some sort of like different mechanics to the game other than just walking around shooting. They made it a bit more combat shooty like, which again is fine. Um, but yeah, the controls were bad, you know. So it already makes sense, right? How do I get the weapon wheel back up? Oh, here we are. I want to equip my storm shotgun. That's not my shotgun, is it? There we go. That's more like it. Very shotgun heavy. Right, let's go in here. I think there's an enemy in here we need to take care of. Some exploration. Enemy! Oh, there you are. It's a rocket launcher. True. Got him. You missed, son. You missed. I think storage lock. Easy decryption. Right, begin manual override. We, we shall try it again. Oh, piss off. I could have had that. Okay, I'm not going to get... Oh, I've got it just in time. Lucky me. Lucky, lucky me. Gate control! That's what we need. Actually, we probably don't really need it, but we'll activate it anyway. So now means we can get in and out quite easily with our um, moon buggy thing. So that's always handy. Right, let's run our way to wherever it is we need to go. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm guessing there's another gate control ahead of us which we need to get to, but at least now that makes it easier to leave. Might as well have a quick look in here, just in case there are any supplies. No enemies about, so that's a good thing. Let's have a look round here. Any supplies? Oh, there's something. An upgrade kit. Ooh, nice. We could reduce to Omnigel or take them. I think we'll take those. Defo. I need to uh, check the armor stuff, actually. Let's have a look at uh, equipment. Recovered items, okay. Take all those, that's fine. So we want our shotgun, don't we? Uh, what have we currently got equipped at the moment? The Storm 1 shotgun. Uh, we could actually go a bit better, really. Although the Storm 1 does less damage, it's got more accuracy. And does a bit more damage. Can convert it into Omnigel. Uh, might convert that one into Omnigel, I think. Get some of that precious stuff there. Um, should we stick with what we've got? I don't know. Or should we change? Uh, let's change. Yeah, transfer and sword. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. Right, what upgrades can we have? We've got recoil dampener. Recoil dampener 2. Okay. Um, that's about it, really. Alright, we'll have the recoil dampener. And then can we also change the upgrade to... Uh, let's see. Ooh, nasty stuff here. Armor piercing rounds. We need armor piercing rounds, really? Let's have radioactive rounds. Nice. Okay, that's our shotgun sorted. Don't care about everybody else. We'll manage them later. I always say that, and then I do. I always forget to do so. But that's because we haven't really got much to really mess around with for the time being. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want my weapon wheel. Give me my shotgun. I don't. There we go. Is that, is that my shotgun? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It just looks like a pistol, but okay. Carry on moving on anyway. The phone's ringing in the background. Just ignore that for now. I'll, I'll check that later. Let's see who it is. Probably just family. But uh, my family's currently out at the moment, so I've got a bit, a bit of peace and quiet to myself. I don't really need to talk to anybody else. For the time being. Or it could be sales. I mean, it's Sunday, so it probably isn't, but I'll leave it. If they phone again, or if they phone back in a few seconds, I'll pick it up. Right. There's another weapon slot here. We'll grab that. Okay. It's actually easier to use the arrow keys rather than the uh, rather than the thing. But anyway, take... Oh, Christ! Jesus, I didn't even see... I forgot you were there, sir. Just turned you into a pile of radioactive goop. And there's a floaty thing. I'm guessing that's a grenade of some sort. Whoo! I forgot there was a bad guy there. MB. Luckily, your health recovers slowly anyway, so that's uh, that's not a bad thing. Right. That being done, let's get back into it. Oh, hang on. That's a weapons thing over there. We'll grab that. A locked crate. At the end of the day, we'll go where we can. 
got there. Easy. And again, pistol, shotgun, light armor. Yeah, grab it all. Grab it all. Alright, so anything else around here that we could explore? I don't think so. There probably might be one or two item boxes I've missed. I'll just have a quick gander. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. I mean, I'm always worried about that, but uh, people have a go at you saying, you know, oh, you don't check things properly. It's like, well, I'm worried about pace, you know? I don't have a lot of time to edit stuff, so I have to uh, I have to sort of get the balance right. We'll save the game, though, just because we did well there. And we can save because we're not in combat. That is always a good thing. And we shall continue onwards. Doobity-doo. 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 Doo-doo. Crawling across love planet. It's like crawling across love planet. While fighting enemy soldiers. Okay, nice to go. Oh, we've got medi gel for that as well. I wonder how we got a medi gel from that. Because if you think about it, right. You know, we're so far away. How did we get a meta gel from that? Did we just like automate? I guess the game assumes you get out and like ransack the enemy or something like that. I don't know. Oh, but eh. Yeah. I mean, the experience points I understand and all that, but everything else, like, you got meta gel for that. I'm like, how? <laughs> I was in the vehicle. How did it telepathically or tele telepathy get to me? I, I don't know. I don't know. This one's... There are some more enemies over there that look like they want a bit of a Barney. That's fine, I shall give him one. I'm afraid we're destroying them. I don't think we are destroying them, they're probably a bit too far away! Oh! Straight underneath the wheels. That were lucky. Again, right now, damage wise, we're doing alright. It's just our front wheels are a bit on the dodgy side, but you know. It's a six wheeled vehicle. Oh, we did do some damage to them though, so that's not bad. These Geth Armor Tech things are pretty pretty freaky then. Oh, we leveled up! Lovely. We shall use the experience later when we have a quiet moment to ourselves. Nice. Ow! Well, I suppose we could fix the vehicle. No, no, it's fine. We don't want to waste the repair stuff if we can help it. Alright, uh oh. Ow! 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 That was a triple hit. Just to say, we don't have to waste the, uh, the thing, the, um, Span of things, the mechanical kits to fix our, fix our, uh, whatever it's called, moon buggy thing. Ah, we might have to though. Yeah, we might have to fix it. Okay, this is not good, and unfortunately, I can't control this thing to save my life. I need to get round the corner, get round the quickly. Because <laughs> once you fix it, it doesn't. Why aren't you working? I want to fix. I'm pressing Y. In route. No, fix the. Have we got nobody who can fix it? Oh, that sucks. I don't think we can't fix it. I'm pressing the Y button. It won't work. Why won't it work? I want to fix the. I can't. It won't. I'm pressing the Y button. It doesn't work. I don't think we've got access to the fixing thing. Oh shit. Maybe we can't fix it because we're in combat. I don't know. Rubbish though, if that's the case. I think we're carrying this thing. Oh, I didn't, yeah. Bloody hell, that took some punishment. Oh, it's all clear. Now, can I fix my thing? I can't fix it! I've got some spanner stuff, so why can't I fix it? Unless, oh, it must be on the gel. Ah, uh, we must have to use Omnigel. I haven't got enough Omnigel. Well, let's test that theory though, shall we? Because, like I said, I'm sorry this is going to be a bit of a slow one. But, um, let's see, weapon-wise. We've got the Banshee. We can get rid... No, we'll keep the Banshee. Um... Can we get rid of the Banshee? They've both got a shitty accuracy rating there. Let's get rid of the Banshee. So if we convert that into Omnigel... That means we've got nine now. Shotguns again, that's the one we've got. We'll get rid of the storm one, we'll turn that to Omnigel as well. Uh, we'll get rid of the hurricane as well, don't really need that. Edge two pistols, we've got two of those, keep all of those, keep the sniper rifle. Uh, don't have any armor, let's back to that. Right, let's see, can we fix it now? Ah, now we can, because look how much Omnigel we've got. Right. There we go. Right, so it was an Omnigel thing, so you need 15 Omnigel to fix the boom buggy. I'm sure we had this. 
did before when we were uh, doing the game last time, I just completely forgot. But it's okay now. Right, gotcha. Okay, let's roll forward a bit more then. Now that I understand how the game works a bit better. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's supposed to be a, a, a refinery complex, this place, so uh, very big, very tunnelly. Obviously, to transfer you know, ores and stuff to be refined or whatever. Whatever stuff they need, who knows? Damn it. Just repaired my vehicles, yo. Don't start wrecking it up for me now. Come on! Oh, accuracy! Fuck it, run them over! Yeah, landed on him. What a way to die. Poor bloke. Alien thing. Anyway, rolling off forward. Some lava over there. Got some pipes and structural stuff. Could be some uh, supplies over here. Have a quick look, see. Nah, it's just empty framework. There might be some stuff there, but I really can't be bothered to have a look. Unfortunately, however, again, controlling this damn thing it all comes down to where the camera is pointing because it keeps inverting the controls. It's very, very infuriating. It's been like that for a lot of games, so it's not just this game. Yeah, well, they, I think they call them tank controls, I think, except in this case we've got a joystick, whereas before you used to have directional buttons. And that was very annoying. Anyway, have we just gone back around? Did we go the right way? I think we are. Or are we going back on ourselves? Have I just done a complete 180? I don't think so though. I don't know! I might have just turned around and not realised it. Nope, there's enemies. Killed you, mofo. And you as well. 300 credits per kill though, man. Good money, although money to be fair is uh, it's quite hard to get hold of. At least in the early stages of the game anyway. I'm not sure about the late stages. Can't remember, but I know early wise, yeah. Got fuck all. Oh god. Why doesn't the cannon just go down every time? I'll tell you now, it's just like playing Grand Theft Auto 2 the other day. Whenever you're on a ramp or on a staircase, you get butt fucked all the time. Like, really badly. It's irritating as hell, because like you're on a ramp, all the angles change, and yet you can't aim at shit, but they can at you. It's right pain in the arse. Flamethrowers don't work and all that stuff. Oh, well. Ooh, right, jam. So that means we've got to get out on foot. Okay. We're on foot. Now, again, before we carry on, let's do squad. Let's level up. We've got two points. Going to put them on... Uh, I don't know. Combat armor. really should get my combat armor up. No, I'm going to go... I'm going to go... I, I like attack as the best form of defense, so we're going to go to that. Uh, inflicts weapon damage plus 100% within two meters of his impact point. Nice. That's good. So, increases damage by 18%. Yes, all that's very important stuff. Okay, Garrus, he's got that. Good times, and he's got that too. Because I, I let the game sort of do all that automatically stuff like that. I'm just too lazy. Too lazy. Right! Oh, I've got bloody dogs again. I'm going to have to go downstairs for this momentarily, so back in a moment. Like I said, many apologies for that. Uh, it's probably going to go back and forth, unfortunately. We'll see how far we can get before uh, it becomes too much of an issue. And if it does, then I'll have to stop the video. I can't quiet them down, they, get, they just get set off over the smallest of things. And there's very little you can do, sadly. What seemed to be the issue was a window was open, and obviously we live in a crowded neighbourhood, so if there's noises going on... If there's noises going on, they will... Uh, they will kick off, and there's not a lot you can do to shut them up. Nice. Okay. Anyway, we'll be quiet for now. I'll shut the windows, so hopefully that'll quieten any noises down. They just they just bark at anything, like if anything they'll kick off. And there's again nothing I can do about it. Just shout at them and even then that doesn't really do anything. They're doing their job lesson. Right, anyway. Killed that geth quite nicely, so let's roll on. Not very good at using the combat stuff in this game. I, I might get better, but like I said, because it's long between videos. Never really ideal. I'm using the wrong weapon for this. Christ. Got him. That's a sniper there. 
Titan's down. Oh, but yeah, we're gonna die in a minute. Right, we need to retreat. I need to use a different weapon. What could I use though? Uh, I suppose the sniper rifle is gonna have to be the case. It's a good job. Being a soldier means you get to use a lot of different class weapons, which is good. Oh shit, not good. Actually, now that, oh god, now that they're getting closer, let's switch back to the shotgun. This is how clumsy this is. Again, not really the game's fault, it's my fault. Let's hide around here in this corner, we'll use a medigel. I don't know where Garrus is, but it seems to be alright wherever he is. He's safe, that's the main thing. Alright. Let's get Garrus down there then to draw some fire. I need to use the sniper rifle really, don't I? Just where he is though. Oh got him. Somehow I shot him down. Right there, that's the sniper there. I think the sniper's still around. Got him, somehow. <laughs> Lucky me, I guess. Take it though. Alright, yeah, yeah, Kaiden's getting back up, so that's alright. I'll use a Medigel on him, where is he? That's it, lovely. Right, okay, we'll switch back to the old uh, shotgun. So you do have to be quite. Uh... Oh god, there's still people trying to shoot us. You have to be quite uh, versatile with your weapons, and again, being a soldier makes it a bit easier because you get access to all of them. If you're other people or other, other crafts of people, it makes it a bit harder, which is fair enough because that's. Or tailors down to how difficult you want to make the game for yourself, you know, for challenge purposes' sakes, or just because they have unique traits and talents that soldiers don't have that make it good. But for me, I've always preferred just good old-fashioned boots on the ground combat with radioactive shells because it's just fun to use. That's it. Oh, I don't know, but yeah, I'm quite old school that way. Always preferred it. Now. Let's just have a quick look around the area and see if there's any supplies. Probably not. To be fair, does it really matter at this point? Nah, I don't think there's anything here. We would have caught our eyes up on this. I don't know what happens. What's happened to Garrus? Garrus, where have you gone? Don't know where Garrus is. He seems to have disappeared. Oh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. We'll come back with him later. Yeah, yeah, it seems to have disappeared. That is bizarre. Are you following me? Yeah, you are. Okay, that's fine. Can't remember the controls, you see, to... Uh, to, uh, to... To... To commanding your people, that's all. I can never I barely remember or speak or anything these days. Mine's just all in other places. It's very irritating. But yeah, Kaiden's just... Garrus is just gone. I'm sure we won't be needing him anytime soon. Well, whatever's. Make do without him. I get. Always like the lights. Ah, cutscene. That should re. That should reset everything. There he is. He was probably following us from behind. You know, trying to give us cover in far from behind. Uh oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, we love creatures like this. Aren't they the most funnest? Why have I got an assault rifle? I should have a shotgun. But cutscene! Oh, goody, goody, goody gumdrops! Yay! We're butt fucked. Okay, get behind. Okay, I don't know what is the best strategy for this, to be honest with you. Really don't know what the best strategy is for this. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Kaiden's got some good shields though. Got him down. Ah, uh, fuck a duck. I think Garrus is down. Garrus is down. Shit. Got him. That's some proper shotgun action there. Again, I'm such a good leader. I told you this would be a really bad idea for me to do this. Right, okay. Not in the worst positions, but certainly not in the best either. I wonder if I can. Yeah, I 
think that's the best way to do it. It's just take her out shotgun blast and hope for the best. Right, we are uh, we're on our own now. Everyone else is not available. I think we'll be all right though. I think if we just reload. Oh god. Yeah, we're all right. We just keep just keep playing tag. You're it. We should be fine. <laughs> This guy is not getting out of the way. And I'm okay with that. Okay, overheated, but that's alright. Cut. That's it. Got him, there we go. That was quite easy, actually. Guys, can you get back up? Or... Yay! Sorry, I'm a terrible leader, but you knew that already, though, so I don't understand why that's a problem. Right. After that rather clumsy and clunky affair, complete professional, I might add. You know, I know what I'm doing at all times. I I just pretend I don't know what I'm doing, just to give the impression that I'm one of you guys and girls, just an average person who can do the best of the best jobs. Because most people believe, you know, oh, you need somebody with caliber and skill and charisma and richness and all that stuff to do these sorts of things, or these heroish things. I'm like, no, no, you don't. Just be an average Joe like yourself, and you will get through it. But of course, really, that's all a lie, because I'm not an average Joe. I'm amazing. I am that super rich, awesome, charismatic, combat, skilled, brilliant, super de doodah person of awesomeness. Yeah, I'm just trying to be humble. It is. I'm a hell of a guy. Right, many gel you guys up. There we go. Let's get that sorted. Right, again, save the game, because I always look out for my men by saving the game. Just so then, if anything goes wrong, we can go back in time and fix it. Not a lot of officers do that. I do that. Right, let's go in here then, looks like that's what we need to do. We can open the magical door of magicalness. Nicely done. It's just be Mike. At oh, saving the game. Don't crash on me game. There we go. Now we'll crack on then. Lovely jubbly. Jogging our way down, I suppose we could run really, can't we? I don't, know, I don't know if I'd call that running, Shepherd. That does look a bit silly. More like. I, I don't know what to call that, really. Uh oh! It's a shock trooper who hasn't really noticed that what we're doing. No, wait. Don't think that was us, actually, who was doing that. Oh, it's Kaiden's ability there, because he's lifting them up with his telekinesis power. Nice one, Kaiden. Ooh, and I can tame itself. Probably not a good idea to blow up that. We've got no radar, by the way, but that's okay. This thing's a bit more interesting. Why is a Geth sniper on a walkway that close up? That was really stupid, sir, and you knew that, didn't you? You knew that. That was stupid. I mean, I guess he was trying to be useful, but still, why would you put a sniper there? Makes no sense. Right, we've leveled up more points on the shotgun, because it's just the best thing to do. Garrus and Kaiden, he's now got lift, so he's even better than ever. Awesome. Uh, could change equipment. Uh, can't be asked, we'll do that later. We're managing fine. We're hobbling along with what we've got. It's the British way to do it, you see. Botch everything. Botch job it, and you're good. I've never visited a Prothean ruin before. Aside from the Citadel. Yeah, they all look the same. All ruins are the same, really. All corridor-like, with yes, not much sir. to offer. Except there'll be one great big bit with lots of like exclusive stuff there, but other than that, it's pretty bog standard. Trust me, I know. I saw it in a picture. Boo -bee -dee -boo -boo. Everyone got a, everyone got the need to scratch their butts. Well, just me. I try to resist, you know, just to look good in front of the men. But uh, don't you ever get that urge to scratch your butt in the lift? No, that's just me. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, medical kit. Oh, Medigel. Nice. Very good, very good. Oh, going into combat mode. Got an assault drone. These are quite nasty, actually, if I recall. Yep, I want to get back down. Like, crouch would be good. Shotgun has overheated. Luckily, the uh, my teammates are doing a grand job. There we go. Lovely. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The tiles in those holes remind me of a bathroom floor. The, the what? The tile? What the f... What, these? I suppose they do a little bit, I guess. It is a hole. There are tiles. Bathroom floor. Perhaps this was their bathroom. Perhaps they just shat in a big hole in the wall. How do I know? An ancient alien race. I suppose it's a fair comment there. Oh. 
Doobity doo. Doobity doo. A lot of bathrooms in this place. Very nice tiles. Uh oh. Apparently the elevator doesn't agree. The elevator thinks it's a very bad bathroom. Not my fault. Oh well, thank you for getting us most of the way there, though. Ooh, ooh everything's a bit, uh. Ooh. ooh, it's all a bit, it's all a bit junky. Uh, yeah, oh well, I'll try. How on earth did you get yourself caught up in all that? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we, we hear you. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. Oh. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Uh, why? I'm going to interrogate you now that you're in an interrogatable position. And that's not because you're a girl and I'm a man and I'm horny. I like girls. It's because it's protocol. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. Now you'd say that, wouldn't you? I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Yeah, you'd say that, wouldn't you? And again, you don't really know why we're here, though, other than that. So, the fact that you probably don't know who we are... And therefore, jump to that conclusion because you're like, oh, wait, no, don't get the wrong idea. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil. Yes, I can. Otherwise, there'd be no plot. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. You fucking nearly killed us with those defenses, yo. I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother. Is oh, sorry. Sarah. I'm repeating the same dialogue you just to check that you are really not what? aside. I'm just checking. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. I was just checking. Alright, but we'll find a way. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Alright, alright. Stay calm. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Bullets! Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Krogan, you say? Well, that's not the guy Saren we're after. Alright. Well, I'm sure we'll find a way to get through, but, uh, girly, uh... I shouldn't call you girly. Doctor, that's what you are. Don't worry, Doc. We'll, we'll do what we can. Just hang tight. <laughs> right, got some combat. Let's get on with this then. Alright, what have we got? We've got a guest shock trooper. Oh, well, he's uh, very electrifying here. Nicely done. Bit of trouble. Just. Uh, let the shotgun overheat. Uh, under, under, over. Pressing the wrong buttons. Throw a grenade. I try to, I try to use my grenades more often, but it's got such an awkward button to, to, to like. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed him. Shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Meta jail. Nice. Good, re good recovery there. Oh, nice. All right. We're a good fighting force team. Probably because you two actually do most of the fighting and I just end up cocking up. But that's okay. We're still a team. And you're doing good. And that means we're all doing good. You know? Or one for all and all that stuff. Right. Uh, enter code. Uh, oh. Okay. Right. Up. 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 Down. <gasps> Left. Damn it. Up. Up. Down. Right. Damn it. Up. Up. Down, down, up, nope, up, up, down, down, left. Yay! Is that? Oh, it lasered a hole in the floor. Oh, I see. I was just about to say to myself, I thought, are we going to use that to laser her out of there? Because that's not a good plan. A big fuck off laser is probably going to hit her, but it's okay. We were just lasering the ground. I, I, I jumped to the wrong conclusion there. Because I'm a good person, honest. Alright, let's get to these storage lockers then. Begin manual override. We can do this. We can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. 
And then we can do... Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Need to spend some time doing this sort of stuff, really. Alright. This one's going to be a little harder. Yep, got there. Look at that. Very, very nice. Right, okay, like I said, I'll worry about all this off screen, the equipment and stuff. We'll make do with what we got for now, because we're, we're managing all right. I think that's everything around here for now. Might just have a quick gander up over here. Put our weapons away just to add to a bit of extra pace and speed as we explore and better camera angle and what what. Garris, thank you. May you try to be helpful, but getting in my way is the opposite of what you were trying to achieve. Right, I think we're good On here. Alright, Kaiden, don't worry, you're doing a grand job. You've got good shields and your telepathic abilities or telekinetic abilities are pretty damn good. Or psionic or whatever the correct word is for it. Alright, underground. Oh, open. Open what? Open, open what? Oh, that thing over there. Uh, I was jumping ahead. Right, so this should deactivate the thing up there then, I take it. Or lower her down even. I don't know, I don't know. What has it done? It has produced an elevator of some sort. Of course it has. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't really want to talk to her anymore. We just need to uh, do something. Oh no, she's there. Oh! Oh, we lowered... Wait, what? Did we... I don't know what happened there. Oh, whatever. So anyway, we're behind you, Liara. How? How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. <laughs> it was easy! Nah, let's be modest. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. <laughs> Fine, I should walk over to it sinisterly. If that's a word. Boop! <laughs> Look at my looking at her! He's like, damn, she got nice ass. I'm gonna tempt that later. <sighs> Any idea how we get out of this place? Same way we came, Brent. There's an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Cool. We'll do that then. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Uh. Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. Yeah. The conduit, but I don't know. Nope. Oh. Awkward camera angle edit and people looking around. What the hell was that? Oh, what do you think? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. A plot device, I like to call it. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. But we need an escape plan, damn it. We have to plan. We've got to sit down. We've got to. Joker, we got to. We got to get things sorted and written up. On the double, Mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. That's not enough. We're gonna be dead by then. Not much margin for error. Oh well, tough shit. We'll get around it, I suppose. Can't move, by the way. Can't even talk to them either. Fair enough. I guess the uh, game will take care of it all for us then, so there's nothing to worry about. The game says we're not going to die, so it's cool. Oof, oof. Oh, shit. Oh, it's you, Krogan, dude. Hello, Krogan. Why are you with the guest? They promise you that you can be fertile again. Or is it the Trilly Dogs? They do make good Trilly Dogs. Uh, we'll take the we'll take the ladder. <laughs> what do you want? Kill this bastard! No, let, let's uh, let's be nice. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for getting rid of those energy beams for us. Happy done, bro. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. I'm not giving her up. I'm tapping that ass, not you. She'll stay with us. Thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her. Yeah, well, I'm his cock blocker. But it kind of does, because, hang on, hold on, I'm going to pause that for a second. You just said that Siren always gets what he wants. Then you've just said, well, if you don't kill the Asari, but if you do, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does, because that means he doesn't get what he wants. Which means you'll be in the shit. Don't contradict yourself, Krogan. Stupid idiot. Right, more shotgun time. I know I should be spending it on other stuff. Right, I need to use that, because that's going to be quite useful. Anyway, right, let's let's see if I can get this to... Oops, no, don't put your shotgun away, you stupid old fool! No, right, right, shotgun is what you need. Get, get the shotgun. 
Jimmy Meat. This is the most anticlimactic sort of thing. Right. Use Carnage. Let's do it. Nice. Oh, we can only use it once. Oh, well, it was powerful. It was there. Um, Garrus is knocked out again for the count. So we will be at this rate. Right, manage up. Oh, that's a Krogan Battlemaster. Shit. Should be careful with him. Come on. Bow down to the radiation. You know you want it. Got him. Did we do it? I think we just did it. Did we do it? I don't know. Could be game over. Might be game over. I think we're I think we're alright. I don't know, the camera's all over the place. Modern day editing, yo. So good in films, except it's not. Barely keep up with the action. Come on, just keep moving. I don't know why we're staring at the ruins collapsing. It, it, you know, it's not a lot to look at. Follow that ass, Shepard. She'll lead you to safety. Hooray! Somehow we managed to get it out there. Well, somebody did anyway. I don't know about us, though. Oh, no. There's Garrus. There's Leo. There's Lazari. And there's us! Yes, we made it. Gaiden's ahead of us because he's more of a coward. Oh, no, no, no. You can't be out of breath now. We've got to keep going. Oh. Oh, I guess not. The ruins collapsed on the inside. Oh, okay. Fair enough. My bad, Shepard. Got it wrong. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. Oh, shut your hole. to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Well, you've dropped us off here. You almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. <laughs> it eases the tension. <laughs> Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. Yeah, we're going to be stuck up. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. No, we could soon sort but that I'm out if you know what I mean. You. you saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. Uh. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? No, he's an ex-boyfriend of mine. He's a bit uh, possessive like that. Extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? Damn, you're one hell of a milf. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. Oh. Oh, well, I can't that tell that ass and can I so technically be... The attention it deserves. Yeah, because bad touch. Use, Damn it! Other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Mm. I might know and be patronizing. Now, let's see what. Let, let's make it open. What did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. I wonder who that could have but been. But here's the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. How the hell did you know this? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. Yeah, I know, but you I said that's nothing to your time lapse. I don't know why you keep emphasizing evidence. that. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. You're not a very good doctor then, are you? more a feeling derived from a half century of... Really? You can't research. base a theory on feelings, know, Spark! Right. You're not a... You're a scientist, right? Prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. <laughs> but it's just on a feeling and not... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This is a science fiction game, right? Based on scientific ideas, existing ones and... Ones that could probably be true if certain evidence is found, or if we can actually find a way to actually try the theory out. And then it's like, oh, this grand theory about these these ancient alien race and all this technology that we've kind of found and discovered and we're now using to advance ourselves. And then it turns out potentially that someone's been in the past, like this has happened before, not just with the Protheans, but with that. And now you're sailing on feelings. Someone's deleting it all, but you can't prove it. That's That's not science. It's just not science. But you're a child, so I suppose I should forgive you, because children are like that, aren't they? Bless them. And they're allowed they're allowed to be imaginative and creative, aren't they? Because otherwise that means, you know, quash them of their childhoodness. And then 
and then let me sap them of their creativity, which is really sad, really. So yeah, no, no, okay, I should be a little less harsh. I shall shut up and let's carry on. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. <laughs> That's all because very well and good, girl, but again... Extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. <laughs> I know what happened. No, I don't. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. How the fuck do you know that? The, the Reapers. But, wait, what? Was that Did the I vision he had Reapers? earlier? I can't remember How now. How do you know this? Yeah. What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. Oh, uh, right, okay. So, we means. got the plot points from the plot device Beacons. to advance plot. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. That's very true, it was. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remremarkably <laughs> strong willed. It's like well, I'm, def I'm definitely strong target. something if you know of what course, I mean. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Not my penis hunger. I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit. Or Saren. Oh well. <laughs> so what good are you then, bitch? That's right. You can be my bitch, my slap bitch. Uh, you can help us. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. <laughs> As I raise my eyebrow in suspicion. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. <laughs> you're not a very good doctor. I know you're a child, but still, you're older than me. You know more than I do. Antibiotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Yeah, that's true. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. <laughs> We're a bunch of fuck-ups. It's all I'm good very fun. Grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. Oh, that that's just my awesomeness affecting you. Don't worry Dr. about it. Should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Oh, I know. You can tell from her face expression. It's probably just mental exhaustion. I'm going to go to my my room if I have one to rest. I don't mind being checked on later, if you know what I mean. chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Uh, yeah. We'll talk later, girl. I mean, yeah, we'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the Doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up. Oh, would you say no? <laughs> Received your report, Commander. I understand Doctor Tassoni is on the Normandy. Yes, we're holding a hostage you until you believe us about Saren, you asshats. <laughs> I love that. It's like blah, blah blah. No, we've got your daughter hostage. Now you believe us about Saren. Shut him down so we can solve this without any bloodshed, or she dies, and she becomes my slap bitch. There was on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Nezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Yeah. It was. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Don't call me Shirley. Alright, well, at least we, uh... At least we managed that stuff anyway, so that that's all good. Alright, fair enough. We shall save the game. Unless the game crashes. Nope. It was just thinking about it. That's okay. Take your time, game. Cool. Alright. Well, at least we managed to get the Zari back. Which is good. Um, not the Zari. Uh, fuck. I forgot what her name is now. Fuck. 
Oh, we'll find out in a second. Um, right. Uh, let's see then. Uh, can we talk to anyone? It's Commander. Uh, no, don't need to do all that. That's fine. Carry on, Presley. Yes. All right. So yeah, it's no point talking to anybody else because I don't think anything else happens. Uh, looks like we've got to go to the galaxy map to decide where to go next. So maybe we'll just have a quick look at m the journal. Oh, here we are. Council received reports of Geth interest in the corporate research colony of Novaria. Council needs to know why. Okay. And the Geth have attacked the world of Pharaoh. She probably just goes to the Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent the Geth troops to the planet. Ah, uh, Liara Sony, that's the name. Okay, fair enough. So, Prothean Artifact. Oh, these are the things I think we can find on the different planets and stuff, I'm sure. Um, so that at a later date, yeah. Okay. To manage this fleet, you can do expand the alliance. Must find new resources wherever it can. You recently surveyed an important deposit and claimed it for the alliance. It must be more like them to traverse. So I'm guessing if we gather all those, then that's good for us. There are several League of One medallions and a few ID tags scattered throughout these systems. The hunt must have been extensive, taking years. Okay, fair enough. Um, da -da 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 -da, so that's all stuff here. Right, so that means we can do all these sub stuff, which should be quite interesting. So these are the main things we've got to do. And then here's some sub stuff we could do later, which we might do, I think. We should do those. Alright, that's fine. Codex wise, not really fussed about that. So, I think what we'll do then is just go and check on uh, the R. Just gotta remember where the uh, medical bay is. Have a chat with her. If the game allows me to. I don't know. Uh, it's over here, medical bay. Let's have a look. Bing bong! Might be. Ugh, God, the game's been rather janky today. Although that, that's probably my laptop. Actually, I think my hard drive's literally on the on the fritz. There we go, Doctor Chakwaz. You seen the uh, Sony, the the new uh, girl I brought in? Want to want to tap her? Yes, Commander, is there something you need? I should go. No, 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 no. I want to talk to you, but the game's been janky. Yes, Commander. I want to be... Is there something you need? Uh, oh, Kite Palenka. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has. I think we might have done this already, though. I'm just Over memory's a bit hazy. Commendations, tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. All oh, right, I think we've I think we've done I that before. Go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, is there anybody else here? Oh, oh, replenish medigel. Do that. Grab another one there. Is there somebody else here? Nope. Okay, Liara is not. Oh, hold the phone. Liara. Aha! There you are, hiding in the back here. All right, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything scary. Not yet, anyway. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah, you? I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Doctor Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Yeah, she's the best. You're in good hands. Doctor Chakwas knows what she's doing. She's got a great name. Never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown Oh, up. well, I know of many ways you could thank me. You know, just part of the mission. Nah, let's be nice. Don't mention it. Just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do no, not they're always me. like that. They just want to tap your ass as well. Like We're a bit of a competitive I bunch do like that. I whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd like to talk to you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from a. Oh, oh, well, to be fair, I can understand that when you're pervs like me around you all the time. That that's fine. I, I would say why is that, and I probably will say why is that. But um, yeah, that's cool. I'll, I'll give you some space. That's cool. I, I have to be reminded that I am a bit of a creep sometimes. You don't like other people. I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps, 
They wanted me to become a leader of it's our It's going to be the head prostitute at that Magi brothel place back on the Citadel. Into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. Do you like it? Nah, it's not foolish. Fuck her. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. <laughs> you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about Fair them. Fair enough. I bet they were pretty hot as well. I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Like fascinating? <laughs> Don't you mean I'm like you awesome? Like me in the lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend no, you. No, you were right. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that <laughs> No, relax. It's Come fine. Away. I'm only joking. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter yeah. fool. Yeah, it's okay. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around Then you need to hang out with them more and practice. Please, just pretend this conversation never oh, happened. Oh, shut up. Um... Let's talk about your culture. I'd like to know more about. Sounds very story. similar to Atari. It's we one letter up. The they Citadel. were the first game mass we marketed games console. Forming the council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic. Well, we failed on that bit in terms of the video game world. We went bankrupt several we times. Part of a single galactic community, each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand. It's because you live long. And your heart. Is There's not a lot more to it than that. Misinformation about my people. <gasps> Such as, like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating oh. rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for okay. us. Okay, I thought you could. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. Okay, how is that possible then? Explain, game. I'm intrigued because I know it mentioned it before. But I, I always, I always forget stuff. Let's find out. I, I just want to see how, how, how they explain. It. I, I think the way they explain it is, is, is fair enough. It's just, I'm just curious. Let's, let's find out. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone. Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of oh. the union. The true connection is oh. our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths Yes, of that's what those we uh, sorry we're doing in that exotic place back on Citadel. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. So you could I, 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 is, are you like a hermaph uh, not, uh, not a hermaphrodite, uh, what they call them? Oh, bugger. That's basic biology 101, and I don't know what it is. It's that thing where um, you, you just replicate on your own, you don't need sex. What's that called again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Fuck. Oh, it's not asexual, because that just means you're not interested in other sexes. Oh, bollocks. I don't know what it's called. Somebody let me know in the co comments. It's a very basic biological name for a process where you can reproduce without having to have sex. And I, compl I always know it, and I've just forgotten it now, because of course I have. But anyway, I guess they do that, so they actually make their own bibbies. They don't technically need sex, So, uh, as she was saying. So I'm guessing all it does is as soon as they establish a mental connection with another person or being, then they can then tap into that being's personal mental data or signals, copy-paste it, I guess. In a, but it sounds a bit computerized, but you know what I mean. Like, extract it somehow, you know, make a copy of it into their own beings, and then they use that data to then create a bibbit with inside of them then. Uh, without the need of actually having to have, you know, sex, basically. Um, meaning that, yeah, they don't need to have sex to reproduce, but they can have physical contact if they want. So perhaps they can do it both ways then. So perhaps if they get physical fluid from, you know, a species that can be used for mating purposes, they can then use that to produce the baby. But I don't know. I'm, I'm overthinking this. I'm sure there's some text here and somebody on the interwebs can tell me more about it. Let's just carry on. Let's find out about the other parents. I guess they get ignored then. What happens to your partner after We kill the them and eat them for dinner. Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. 
others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Ada? Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Uh. I thought you always needed another species to serve. Well, yeah, including their own. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left exactly. our own world. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our yeah, species. Yeah, like incest. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. No, oh, you don't know that. I mean, it's probably true, but let, again, you don't know that. We never know what the other person's thinking. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Yeah, because of that sort of age difference. Eh, fair enough. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need Oh, to yeah, Saren yeah, there was that Asari warrior chick, wasn't there? That, that we Maybe saw briefly. She yeah, she's working for Saren. I forgot about her. They're like ninja like abilities. And that's her mum, I guess. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I thought the mum was on the council, but she's not. She's. Right, yeah, okay. My bad. I was getting confused with the story then. I forgot. Yeah, she's like some weird Asari ninja warrior chick thing. You've got a hot mum, by the way. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. Something oh, changed. she been indoctrinated. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I, I would tell you, uh, uh, Sony, but uh, apparently if I do, that would be breaking the plot thing. But uh, yeah, something to do with mind control, and we may even be indoctrinated. Big, big, big conspiracy theory there about all this, but uh, yeah, anyway. Sorry, never mind. Sucks for your mum, but she's hot. Anyway, see you later. Bye. I should go. Goodbye. Super. Goodbye. Um, now, I see the the problem is is you can in this game if you want pick a partner for yourself. You can actually uh, 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 have a heterosexual partner anyway. Um, I don't think this game allows you to do gay stuff yet. Um, I think in the second game you can, and I know in the third game you can more. Um, but in this game, I think you can only have a heterosexual partner. So if you're a male shepherd, you can go after Liara or uh, Ashley. Um, and the first time I played this game, I went with Liara, because I think she's pretty cool, actually. She is hot as an alien species. Because for some reason, I don't know what it is, but blue-skinned women, like blue-skinned alien women thing, like, you know, uh, what's her name, Mystique from X-Men? I mean, she's not technically alien, she's, uh, she's a mutant, but blue-skinned women. Yeah, pretty hot. It's bizarre. I don't know why. I guess I'm just weird like that. But yeah, I like Liara. And Liara is quite innocent and she's kind of cool. It's not like trying to corrupt or take advantage of that. It's the fact that she is just pretty cool like on her own and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, no, I liked her. But I'm not sure um, because in Mass Effect 2, you get access to more potential partners. And the partner I like in that game is pretty hot. And I think she was the same for most male players of uh, Mass Effect if they were heterosexual, that was to go after her. And I guess. Uh, I don't think you could have a, uh, a gay thing with her if you're a female commander. I'm not sure. I don't think you can in the second game. But she, she, she's really hot in the second game, this uh, other girl character we will meet later on. So I'm, if we do end up playing all this all the way through and then get onto the second one, I might save it for her. You can, of course, have a partner in this game and then in the second game switch partners. But I might just stay neutral for the most part. I don't know. We'll see. Just walking up to you, squaring each other off in awkwardness. Anything you need, Commander? Yeah, looking for personal input. Who do you think I should go for? Liari? Ashley? Who do you think? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or I'll... Yeah, speak mind. Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off I love you. That's a generous attitude. Okay. 
I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in... That's alright. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. <gasps> that was accidental? Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. Yeah. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Sounds rough. What is Jump Zero? Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was Jeez. there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to talk then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. Yeah, it was until she got into a really big circle, and then she used to use hula hoops. Or turned it into a hula hoop. Smart. I flipped that joke up. Damn it! stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Oh! Did you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. Then we both took cocaine. Things never felt together. Training, you know. Yeah, that does suck. I know that feeling. Except, I don't think she felt the same way. That was the only downside, so. Oh well. Do you know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was good. I wish you could make the frame rate work more consistently. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Mm, sounds rough. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No better. No, you can talk to me. Probably won't now, but you can talk to me. I care about my crew, dammit. I may be an asshole, Lanko, but I no care. There's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a... a no, it's fine. You were really helpful back on that. I've got my pass squared away. Ah, fair enough. You were really handy back there, actually. I should use you more often in fights, because you were pretty good last time. I always underrated me. Uh, I always... Uh, sorry, I'll repeat that. I always underrated you, but I think I might have to change that. Frame rate is just all over the place! Stupid fucking game. It's not really the game's fault again. It's my computer, you see. Oh, it's been bloody awkward. Right, I'll tell you what then. I think we'll have to call it a video here. It's not been a long one, but at least we've got some stuff done. Uh, my frame rate is just like... <laughs> That's probably my hard drive, or Steam probably fucking up trying to update itself again. So, uh, yeah, alright, the next time then what we'll do is we'll speak to the rest of the crew, and then we'll do some side stuff maybe, some side missions. Um, I'll get the equipment all set up as well before the next video, so we're all up to date with our equipment, and uh, yeah, we'll go off and explore the galaxy a bit more. We'll go off on a bit of a side tangent journey for a bit. See where we go. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have done, take it easy, have a good one, hope you're all well. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye for now.